Hey everyone, it's Max and I am here to do a video for Top 5 Wednesdays. If you don't know what Top 5 Wednesdays is, it is a Goodreads group where every week they have a prompt that says name your top five blank. And this week is top five fandoms I am no longer a part of. A couple of these fandoms I don't have books for me or books on me here. I do usually have them at my mom's house just because um, I just have a couple small shelves. I just put like books I don't want to get rid of but I don't want to really display. And so the first one I'll be talking about is the Twilight series. I still love the Twilight series. I love the movies, but I just don't really fangirl over them anymore. I just, I remember when the first movie was coming out and I was so excited and it was like the, just the time of Twilight in my mind. And I was just in love with them so much. And even though I look back on that with very fond memories, I'm just I don't really like them as much anymore. I do, I will always have a special place in my heart for them because they got me into reading young adult fiction and fantasy and really just, they got me into reading, which I do really appreciate. I just won't be fangirling over them anymore. The second one is the House of Night series. I don't really know if there's a technical like fandom for this, but I used to love those books. I can't remember when I started reading them. If it was like, I think it might have been seventh grade. And I read them so fast and I was just in love with them. I love the story. I love the characters. If you don't know what this is about, because it isn't a very well-known series, it is about a girl named Zoe who is turned into a vampire and has to go to kind of a school for vampires. And she just is trying to learn how to navigate navigate her way, keep her old friends while making new friends, and trying to get rid of that stigma against vampires. It sounds really good. The first five are pretty dang good, but there's like 13 to 15 books in the series now, and I'm just like, that's just too many. Too many. There's just too much. And so they just slowly and steadily went very downhill. The next one I will be talking about is The Fallen series by Lauren Kate. I loved these books and it took me forever to read each one. Like I read this one and like I think I had to wait for Torment to come out and then I read that like pretty early on but then I just didn't read Passion until it was like a paperback like forever after that and then I got Rapture from the library and I don't know by that time I was kind of so over it but I just really wanted to read the rest of the series and see where it went. If you don't know what this is about this is about a girl named Luce who goes to kind of like a reform school. She meets a guy named Daniel and she feels like there's more to him than meets the eye and she feels like she's met him before but she can't remember when and all this stuff happens. It was really good when I was younger. It's definitely like the perfect after Twilight series to read. I read this pretty soon after Twilight, I believe. And it's just like, it's one of those where, you know, it's like, if you like Twilight, you'd like this sort of thing. And it's just, it was perfect for that time period when I was like preteen or just teen. And nowadays I'm just not into it whatsoever. The next fandom that I'm really no longer part of is the Vampire Academy series. I still love the Vampire Academy. I really enjoy these books. I have reread them before and I've loved them just as much. If they did come out with something other than that god-awful movie, I'd probably become more attached to the series and the fandom. Like I feel like it'd be a really good television show. There's six books. There's a spin-off series. I feel like this could be like a huge television show. But if it doesn't happen, then I'm just kind of putting this on the back burner because I just, I love the books, but I have really no need, want, or desire to read them again at the moment. And I just, I'm not as attached to the characters as I have been in the past. And the final book series, I'm no longer part of the fandom, and I really wasn't after I finished the first two, and that is the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. I loved Divergent. I thought Divergent was so fun, such a cool concept. And then Insurgent was pretty dang boring and Allegiant just, I don't know what happened with Allegiant. It went crazy. It was dual perspective. Four became a whiny little crap and Triss got the hero complex and it was just such a mess. And I actually, the ending to it, I'm not gonna say what it is, the ending to it was the only redeemable quality because it set the book apart. It set the series apart. Before that, it was just, eh, meh.
but this book itself was so good. If you don't know what um, Divergent is about, it is about a girl named Triss, and there are factions, and you're sorted into a faction when you turn 16, I think it was, it was either 16 or 18. And she, and you take a test, and you are told what faction you should be a part of, but she is Divergent, which means she doesn't fit into a specific faction. And so she rises against the government, etc., etc. Um, the first one was good, second one sucked, third one was really bad. So I am done with this. Alright everyone, that's all for Top 5 Wednesdays. I'll see, I'll see you on Friday. Bye!